Uh, in today's lesson, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pseudocode. Okay, so this is an algorithm I've written pseudocode, and I'm going to create a trace table. So, and the reason why I create a trace table is I want to see if my pseudocode works as I intended to. Okay, so um, what I'm going to start with uh, is I'm going to create a table. Now, ideally what I need is I need a column for each of the variables. Alright, so I'm going to start with x and then y. Now those are two variables that I've got. And then I've also got uh, a variable called count. Uh, and then I've also got a variable called result. And then I can also just add a column just for what is output. So I'll, I'll add one for what is output. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it. Uh, I need to decide on some values to trace it with. So I'm going to set uh, x to, uh, let's say, uh, 5 and y to 7. Okay, so I'm going to do it 5 and 7. So it says, uh, so I'm going to get started. So I've written in my initial values, 5 and 7. Uh, for count equals 1, so count is going to get initialized to 1. Uh, to y, so from 1 to 7 is going to go. So result equals x, which is 5, times count. So x times 5 is 5. So that goes in the result column. Okay, and output result. So it's going to output 5. All right, and that's my uh, first uh, row done. And so I'm uh, now on to next. Okay, so it's gone next. So what's going to happen to count is it's going to go up by one. Okay, now I can leave all the other uh, rows blank at the moment because nothing else happened to them. So then it goes result equals x times count. Well, x is still five, count is two, so the result is going to be ten. And that's going to output that result, which is going to end up with ten. Uh, that's uh, another rodent. Uh, I can leave any uh, any columns blank if they haven't changed. Okay, so uh, then we go next, and again, so count is going to go from it's going to go up by one. Uh, so count is going to go to three. Uh, I'm then going to do uh, result equals uh, uh, x times count. So x is still five, and I'm going to multiply that by count, which is going to give me fifteen. Okay, it says next, uh, so uh, let me put another row, and then count is going to go to four. Okay, now if you if you think about it, this, is going to keep happening uh, for count equals one to y. So we've got a, a, a for loop here. So actually I can probably write all these in. So I can probably say uh, that this is going to go five, and then if you think about it, it's actually going to go all the way until it gets to y, which is 7. So I can add another row, and that'll be my final row, because then it will stop there, because then uh, count has got to 7. Okay, so then I can just write in the other one. So again, uh, when, it's, uh, when count is 4, it's going to do result equals uh, x times count, so that's going to be 20. And I forgot to write out the output there. And so it's going to output the result, which is going to be 20. Okay, then it's going to do result equals uh, x, which is 5, times count, which is 5, so it's 25. It's going to output the result, which is 25. Uh, then it's going to do, uh, so it's going to come around again, result equals x times count. Well, x is 5, count is 6, so that's going to give us 30. It's going to output that result, which is 30. And uh, then finally, obviously, uh, it's going to be, uh, count is going to become 7. So it's going to do result equals x times count. Well, x is 5, uh, count is 7. So it's going to work out result becomes 35, and it's going to output that result, which is 35. Okay, and then basically the program is going to end, because then uh, the for loop is going to exit. We've got nothing left to do, uh, and so that is our trace table complete. Uh, so the only question I have left for you is, um, can you work out uh, what is the function? What is the function of this algorithm, do you think? Maybe uh, try it itself with a few different uh, values for x and y and see if you can work out what the function is. Thank you very much.